Synchronic Roulette is a kinetic strand 600 RPM precision frame SMG, obtainable from opening chests at the end of the terminal overload activity in Liming Harbor. It's based on the Shadowkeep Void Energy SMG Every Waking Moment, except it's kinetic but with strand instead of void. It's the same archetype as SMGs like Shaira's Wrath in Friction Fire. Its sights are a little bit chunky, but it sounds good and it feels decent to use. It also has some great new perks like Hatchling that can synergize well with Strand. I will say at times it can be kind of shaky on controller and it does have a rather low stability stat at 39 and very low handling at 22. So you'll definitely want to spec into those stats more, especially if you're going to use this in PVP. So with that said, let's first start off with the PVE perks to consider. So the first perk combination I'm going to recommend here is going to be Hatchling and Envious Assassin. What's great about Hatchling is it synergizes well with Strand and just just by getting precision final blows or rapidly defeating targets, it's going to spawn a threadling at the enemy's location that you just defeated. And those little threadlings are going to seek out other enemies and cause damage, helping you to add clear more efficiently. As for Envious Assassin, this is basically like Ambitious Assassin, except in order to proc it, you have to get kills with other weapons. So in this case, when you get kills with your special or heavy, every kill that you get is going to give you a 10% increase to your magazine. This can especially be useful when paired with wave frame grenade launchers. Now, although this is a great perk combination, if you are on controller, I would actually instead go for Hatchling and Under Pressure. The reason why is because on controller, the lower stability is a lot more felt. And in order to take full advantage of Hatchling, you want to be able to land your precision final blows as well as your rapid final blows, helping you to spawn hatchlings more often. And under pressure is going to give us a nice plus 30 stability when we're below half of our magazine, bringing our stability all the way up to a 69, as well as improving our accuracy cone so we have a better chance of getting those precision kills. Now if you did want to use this more for champions or majors, another great perk combination is target lock and under pressure. These two synergize really well together because target lock's damage increases the longer you unload your weapon on an enemy. And under pressure Pressure is going to help you stay consistent landing those shots. Just do keep in mind target lots of damage does scale as your magazine gets lower, so you do need to maintain those hits in order to take advantage of that scaling damage. Now, although I think that's going to be your best options, there are two other perks I would consider trying out. The first being Cascade Point, which can pair really nicely with Envious Assassin because both of them require that you get kills with another weapon in order to proc them. And essentially, Cascade Point is going to increase your rate of fire on this weapon after getting a kill with another weapon and switching to this weapon. Weapon. And ultimately, as your rate of fire increases, it means you're going to be outputting more damage. So that's definitely a perk worth trying. And lastly, we have Pulse Monitor, which I do think could pair really nicely with Hatchling. Not only does it give you a plus 50 to handling when you're under 110 HP, but it also reloads your magazine from reserves. And since the magazine on this weapon is rather low, that could come in very handy, especially if you're in a situation when you're dealing with a lot of enemies. Moving on to the magazine in column two, again, like I mentioned earlier, the stability on this weapon is really lacking, especially if you're on controller. So I would go with ricochet rounds, which is going to give us a nice plus 10 to stability and a plus five to range. Now, if you're on mouse and keyboard, or you don't care too much about the stability and you want it to be more efficient for ad clearing, you could go with something like armor piercing rounds or high caliber rounds with high caliber rounds being able to stun lock miners and armor piercing rounds causing 5% increased damage to combatant shields, as well as over penetrating targets. Moving on to column one with the barrel. If you do end up going with envious assassin, I would definitely go with the perk flu barrel that's really going to help us out with our handling giving us a plus 15 to handling bringing it from a 22 all the way up to a 37 as well as giving us a plus 5 to stability now if you end up not going with envious assassin or you don't really care about the improved handling you could also go with something like corkscrew rifling which will give you a nice balanced boost of plus 5 to stability range and handling or even something like chambered compensator which will give us a plus 10 to stability bringing our stability all the way up to a 59 as well as our recoil direction up to 100 just do keep in mind you will get a minus 5 to handle it. As for the masterwork, you really could go with anything here. I know for me, I'm again going to spec into stability, bringing our stability all the way up to 64, helping me to get more of those precision final blows so I can take full advantage of the hatchling perk. But you could go with anything else like handling or reload speed. It's really up to you. And finally for the mod, I'm going to go for minor spec, but you could also go with backup mag, bringing your magazine up to 29, which can complement Envious Assassin if you did want to have a lot more shots in your magazine. 
Moving on to the PVP perks to consider, the first perk combination I'm gonna recommend here might sound a little unique, but I'm actually gonna go with Elemental Capacitor and Under Pressure. Because the stability and handling on this weapon is really low, I think these two perks can work really well together. Under Pressure is gonna give you a nice passive plus 30 to stability anytime you're below half the magazine, as well as a 25% to 50% accuracy cone size improvement as your magazine gets lower. So not only is it gonna help your stability, but it's also gonna improve your accuracy. As for Elemental Capacitor, whether you're running arc or void subclass, you're going to get a massive bump to those stats. So either you're going to have completely maxed out stability or you're going to have high stability and high handling. And depending on the magazine, barrel, and masterwork you go with, these two perks together can be really useful and effective. Now, the only drawback to running Elemental Capacitor is it relies on a subclass. So if you're not using Void and you're not using Arc, it's probably not going to be as useful to you. In that case, another great perk combination is Kill Clip and Keep Away. And what's great about running Kill Clip on this weapon is because precision SMGs tend to have the weakest time to kill of most SMGs, with a 0.8 time to kill with 7 crits and 2 bodies. But when you pair that with Kill Clip and the 25% bonus damage you get after reloading, it's going to bring your optimal time to kill down to 0.6 seconds with 5 crits and 2 bodies. As for Keep Away, just by your opponents being outside of 15 meter radius, you're going to get a plus 10 to range, plus 30 to reload speed, as well as a minus 10% to your accuracy cone size. Essentially, it's a free bonus bump to your stats and your accuracy, and since the base damage falloff distance of this weapon is at 18 meters, you should be able to take advantage of this perk consistently, and it's going to pair really nicely with Kill Clip, helping to bring our reload speed up to a 49. Now one last perk combination I did want to mention here that could be rather useful if you want more of a passive play is target lock and under pressure. Target lock just by landing the first 3 or 4 shots from this weapon is going to give you a 16% damage boost. That's not going to necessarily improve your time to kill by a large margin but it is going to make this weapon a little bit more forgiving and it does synergize well with under pressure which is going to help you stay on target more consistently. Now although I think those are going to be the best perk combinations as far as being competitive there are two other perks to consider here. The first First being Pulse Monitor, this is actually a rather underrated perk in PvP in my opinion, because just by taking damage you're going to get a massive plus 50 to handling as well as a 0.95 ready and stow duration multiplier. Not to mention it's going to randomly reload your magazine from reserves, which can be really useful in a situation where you don't have time to reload and you're taking damage from your opponents, it can come in rather clutch. And the last perk I want to mention here is actually the perfect float. Since you can grapple with Strand and Airborne Effectiveness is a lot more effective than it used to be, Perfect Float can actually be a great perk, especially for those of you that like to hop around the Crucible, ultimately helping you to be more accurate in the air. Moving on to column 2 with the magazine, I really think there's only one option worth going with here because the stability is so low. Even if you're rocking something like Under Pressure, you really want as much stability as you can get, so I recommend going with Ricochet Rounds here, giving us a plus 10 to stability and a plus 5 to range. Now again, if you don't feel like stability is much of an issue for you, you could instead go with High Caliber Rounds, helping you to flip your opponents and giving you a nice plus five to range that's really going to be up to you and finally for column one with a barrel this is really going to depend on if you want more handling more stability or more range i know for me i want more range and stability so i'm going to go with small bore giving us a plus seven to range and stability now if you did want this smg to extend beyond the 20 meters and go to 21 meters you could also go with something like hammer forge rifling pair that with a range masterwork and ricochet rounds in column two now if you did want to max out your recoil direction you could could also go with Chamber Compensator or Arrowhead Break as well, with Chamber Compensator increasing your stability and your recoil. Just keep in mind you will lose a minus 5 to handling, and Arrowhead Break giving you a plus 10 to handling and maxing out your recoil. And finally for the Masterwork, you really could go with anything here. I know for me, I'm going to go for range to cross that 20 meter damage fall off distance threshold, and as for the mod, I'm going to go for Icarus Grip, bringing my airborne effectiveness all the way up to a 33, helping it to feel a lot better and more effective when I'm firing my weapon in the air. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much, Guardians, for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later.